Hello everyone, continuing the series of weekly contest 292. My name is Sanchit Rodeja. I'm working as a software developer for Adobe. And here I present the third question of the contest, count number of text. Here in this question, we are given a string that represents the keys that were pressed. We need to identify in how many ways can this string be decoded and we need to return all such possible ways out. So I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Lead code 2262 count number of ways of text. Also in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to join the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are mentioned in the description below. So do check them out. Now let's get back to the question. Even before jumping on the details of the algorithm, let's try and understand the question fully. Whenever you want to send your message and in that message you want to send a character, what you're going to do? You're going to press 2 a, a one time. So you'll press 2 one time that represents the A character. When you want to send the message and in that message you want to send B character, what you're going to do? You're going to press 2 two times. So double 2 represents B. Similarly, when you want to send a message and in that message you want to send C character, you will have to press 2 three times. So we have decoded all the possibilities that may occur with two. Similarly, let's do it with uh, three as well. So uh, three maps to D, rather D maps to three, double three maps to E, and triple three maps to F. So this is another possibility of decoding the input string. So if you carefully observe, then except seven and nine, uh, there are three characters that can be generated from each digit. For seven and nine, there are four such possibilities. For seven, we have P, Q, R, S. And for nine, we have W, X, Y, Z. So remember this point as well when we are coding the solution now. So remember this as a corner case. Now let's get back to the actual algorithm. This question is quite similar to decode ways one and it gives you the hint that some way dynamic programming will be applied. How can the, how can it be applied? Let's go step by step and let's try to build the equation for dynamic programming. So what we're going to do, let's consider the base case where the length of the string happens to be zero. So it's an empty string in how many ways can be it be decoded? It can be decoded into one way. None of the characters would match or none of the digits would match. So let's proceed ahead. Next, let's assume we have an input string that has length one and the value in it is two. So it will cater to all the cases where the length of the input string happens to be one in nature. From here, we know that DP of zero is one. And now we are interested in finding out the DP of one. So what that would be, it would, it is really simple. It maps to a and the answer would be one. So let me just write a over here. Let's increase the complexity. Now we are interested in finding out the DP of two and the string that we are considering is of continuous same digits that is double two. So in how many ways can this be decoded? Let's first write those ways. So the first way is a comma a and the second way is B. Here, either the intent is to send B in the message or send A two times. So how can we derive this up? If you carefully observe, then this value uh, can be derived from DP of zero and DP of one. So this corresponds to DP of one. So you add, you're adding one to it. So directly it, it, the value comes from here. So it is not, nothing but equal to DP of zero plus DP of one. Both the values are one, one in nature. So hold on. If you are slightly confused, everything will be clear as we progress ahead in the further equations. So just remember one value is coming from DP of zero and another value is coming from DP of one. So this one where you are appending a is coming from DP of one and where you are using a blank string uh, and generating B it is com coming from DP of zero. Now let's proceed ahead and let me just change the color of pen for better understanding and what we are going to do now, we are going to generate DP of three, assuming all the three digits are same. So we have triple two now. In how many ways can this be decoded? So let's write those up. So the first one is 
ट्रिपल ए एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज बी ए सो दिस सिंपली मीन्स दैट द इंटेंट वॉज टू सेंड ए कैरेक्टर थ्री टाइम्स एंड हियर द इंटेंट वॉज टू सेंड फर्स्ट बी फॉलोड बाय लेट्स राइट मोर केसेस द नेक्स्ट वन कुड बी सी यू आर ट्रीटिंग ट्रिपल टू एज अ सेपरेट इंडिपेंडेंट सी कैरेक्टर एंड द फोर्थ वन इज ए बी सो दीज आर द फोर पॉसिबिलिटीज इन विच ट्रिपल टू कैन बी डी कोडेड नाउ लेट्स ट्रैन एनालाइज ऑल दीज पॉसिबिलिटीज हाउ कैन बी जनरेट दीज अप सो इफ यू केयरफुली ऑब्जर्व दीज टू वी हैव ट्रिपल ए फॉलोड बाय बी ए एंड लेट मी जस्ट ड्रॉ अ लाइन हेयर वॉट इज दिस इक्वल टू दिस इज एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू डी पी ऑफ टू सो वी गे हैव ए एयर फॉलोड बाय बी सो यू आर अपेंडिंग ए टू इट सो दिस इज डायरेक्टली जनरेटेड फ्रॉम डी पी ऑफ टू सो लेट्स रिप्लेस इट विद डी पी ऑफ टू एंड हेयर वी द नेक्स्ट वन इज ए बी सो दिस कैन बी डायरेक्टली रिप्लेस बाय डी पी ऑफ वन सो डी पी ऑफ वन गोज हेयर एंड सिंस यू आर एडिंग अ न्यू कैरेक्टर डी पी ऑफ जीरो कैन बी यूज हेयर सो अ सी कैरेक्टर इज बींग ट्रीटेड एंड दिस टर्नस आउट टू बी इक्वल टू डी पी ऑफ जीरो वे आर यू आर नॉट यूजिंग एनीथिंग प्रायर टू ए और बी सो इफ यू केयरफुली ऑब्जर्व वॉट इज दिस इक्वल टू इट इज इक्वल टू डी पी ऑफ वन प्लस डी पी ऑफ टू प्लस डी पी ऑफ जीरो सो द टोटल वैल्यू कम्स आउट टू बी इक्वल टू फोर सो डी पी ऑफ थ्री हैपन्स टू बी फोर डी पी ऑफ टू हैपन्स टू बी टू डी पी ऑफ वन हैपन्स टू बी वन एंड डी पी ऑफ जीरो हैपन्स टू बी वन अगेन लेट्स इंक्रीज द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड लेट्स राइट डी पी ऑफ फोर सो दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट केस विच विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड द इंटायर एलगोरिथम सो जस्ट होल्ड ऑन टू इट सो लेट्स कंसिडर द केस वेर वी हैव फोर टूल्स टूगेदर and what we are going to do let's try and analyze in what all possibilities can this please can this be split up so the first one would be a a a a then we have b a a then we have c a then we have a b a so these are the four strings that could be generating out of 2 2 2 2 and if you carefully see this is nothing but dp of 3 so if you just remove this last character you will see that triple a was generated over here b a was generated over here c was generated over here a b was generated over here so i have just added another character a in the end and this gives us four possibilities of answer there are more possibilities let's try and look at those so next we have a a b and b b so how can this be mapped it's really simple just look at dp of second and what is dp of second it is a a comma b so what i have i done i have added b additionally to the end of it so we have a a from here b from here and b extra gets added in the previous case a was getting added there is some single character that can be replaced and appended in the end to generate four four, four times two so let's proceed ahead there is another interesting case that is left which is a c and if you carefully observe how can this be generated this can be generated from dp of 1 dp of 1 maps to a and you can simply go ahead go ahead and append c to it this will result in another possibility for uh, mapping to 4 times 2 and if you carefully observe then dp of 4 is nothing but dp of 3 this is dp of 3 this is dp of 2 and this is dp of 1 and why can't we go beyond it the reason is really simple we did the mapping in the previous slide that there is a limit up till which uh, c can be treated triple twos can triple twos can be treated which was up till c there is no way out where you can treat four times 2 to d or some some other character it's not possible therefore we can't map uh, four times 2 to any other character as a result of which we can't look beyond dp of 1 in this case that simply gives us the biggest hint that if you are standing at any character or any integer value you have to look beyond from that particular position to three positions back for example you are at this one dp of 4 then you have to look back up till three positions back 
dp of 3 dp of 2 dp of 1 and there are two exceptions to it the first one is 7 in since 7 can 7 can be mapped to four different characters you have to look out for four different possibilities and similarly for 9 9 also maps to four different possibilities w x y and z that i talked in the previous slide as well to conclude it further let's quickly walk through another possible test case wherein we are seeing a different character after 2 so let's assume we had four twos first and then we see a three we are aware that four twos can be decoded into seven ways from the dp of four value and uh, let's use this information to actually generate more possibilities when you see three three can be decoded into a singular way which is d we are aware of this so the answer for this entire string would become equal to dp of 4 so this is nothing but dp of 4 so dp of 5 in this particular case turns out to be equal to dp of 4 and why i am saying this because we are seeing a different character coming after 2 so whenever you see a different character coming after you just have to copy paste the previous value that you saw here i have created a variable n that will store the length of the string then i go ahead and create the dp array and by default i talked about dp of length of 0 happens to be 1 i have taken a mod variable in order to identify the modulus operation and i start the iterator starting from i equals to i is less than equal to n i extract the current character into consideration by default dp of i is equal to dp of i minus 1 and in case my i is greater than 2 what do i do i check whether my current character which is ch is equal to the previous character if this condition is met what will i do i'll simply add dp of i minus 2 to it otherwise i'll continue it similarly if my i is greater than 3 and my previous two character the previous to previous character happens to be the current character i go ahead and add dp of i minus 3 to it otherwise i'll continue the process once we are done with this there is a slight corner case that we need to think of if ch happens to be equal to 7 or ch happens to be equal to 9 and i is greater than equal to 4 so if these conditions are met then what do i do i also check for whether the previous third character is equal to the current character if all these three conditions are met rather i simply go ahead and add dp of i minus 4 to it and once i am done with this i simply return dp of n whatever dp of value is there at n we perform the mod operation to it so let's submit it accept it the time complexity of this approach is order of n where n signifies the length of the string the space complexity is also equal to order of n because you are uh, having a dp array created for uh, calculating the final answer with this let's conclude the question i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i am solving more questions of the contest